What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Tiago poster silver that I'm going to put on the screen now. So that is what we're going to be making. I've got a few little techniques to show you, a few little bits and tips and tricks, you know. Uh, um, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. The last video that I'm going to put on the screen now did really well. Thank you so much for all the views and all the new subscribers that have gained. Um, we're nearly hitting 300 subscribers and that's just great. Um, I still see a lot of you aren't clicking the subscribe button and watching. Now you don't have to but I would feel great about it if you would because that would just make my day. So if you want me to keep up these videos just let me know in the comments. If you're enjoying the football tutorials on the posters let me know because otherwise I have no feedback from you guys and if you aren't enjoying them then I don't know so hopefully you guys will be a bit more informative and let me know in the comments and that would be great so uh, these are the assets we're going to be using on the screen pretty simple to get I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to download them and that's about it guys make sure you follow the Instagram and make sure you follow the the Twitter and that's about it so let's get straight into the video Alright guys, welcome back. So at the start of the video I'm going to show you what the canvas size is and then I'm going to get straight into the making of the design. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create an A4 background. So if you don't know how to do this, you just need to open up Photoshop and then you need to go to create new and then we're just going to go A4 and if it's not there for you guys, which it probably won't be if you're new to it, you go to print and then it's on A4, okay? So that's what you need to do to get the background. So got my background. The first thing you want to do is keep this locked so it doesn't move about and then we're going to move on to add in a red background on the over the top of our background so if i just get a stroke get any red color it doesn't really matter you want it probably a bright red would do well so you just want to select it and then put it over the top of the design now it doesn't matter if it goes over the edge of the page because we're going to cut that out at the end anyway so we've got our red background the next thing we're going to do is get a texture which is going to be in the pack that i'm going to give you so i'll get that and then do the same when you've downloaded the texture pack okay so this texture is going to be called levels one as you can see in the bottom right it's called levels one now you don't need to have it to cover the whole page so you just want it to cover probably the middle section and you can center align it if you need to so i've got it about there that's the center of the page oh my god wow and then you just click ok yours may not look red like this yours may just look like that at the moment that's fine so what you need to do is go down to linear dodge add your overlay layers and just click that and then it will link in with the red background so now you've got the background prepared the next thing we're going to do is add some text which is going to be skewed off so it looks big on one end and then small on the other end so what you need to do is group these two together you can turn them off like so so this is just going to make it easier for you guys to work uh, you can lock it if you want so you don't select it but I'm just going to leave it off we need to just get our text tool and we need to get a font called impact now this is just a standard font I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to download it if you don't have it then we'll just move straight on so what you're going to want to type is Tiago and obviously you can't see it at the moment because it's in white <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Got <he. laughs> so if I change it to black like so and then I'm just gonna increase the size so it can be as big as you want it doesn't really matter too much but the next thing is the most important bit so you want to click OK once you've resized it the next thing you want to do is convert this to a smart object so if you go to your layer click right click and then convert to smart object now you've got that done you can move on to the next step so what you're going to do is select your text and then you're going to go command T and then once you've gone command T or shift T on um, on Windows you're just going to go down you're going to right click on it and then you're going to go perspective now once you've got perspective open you can really start playing around with the design so if you'll see, if I pull this right bit down here, as you can see, the text gets a lot bigger. I've got quite a nice little angle going on here. So if I just level it off with the top of the page, as you can see, I've got quite a large bit of type. By doing this, I've made the text look like it's coming along the page instead of like flat to the page and it looks like it's got a bit of dimension to it. Now you can make this 3D if you want to, but I'm not gonna because it's just too much hassle and I think the design looks better without it anyway. Once you've positioned your text where you need it to be, you can just okay it and you can make it you can make it bigger so that it um, page properly. Uh, you don't have to do this. It's just personal preference really. If you're OCD like me and you want everything to fit then you can do it if not leave it so we 
we've got that and now we're going to do the same thing again we're going to get silver this time so if you create a new layer silver same font and then what we're going to do is select it again make it larger now as i said it doesn't matter too much about the size because you're obviously going to resize it once you change the shape so you want to convert to a smart object again and then we're just going to go command t or shift t and then perspective and once again but this time we're just going to make this side larger this may look a bit silly to begin with but you can obviously you can move it down like so and make it look like it's in line depending on how large you want the s or how off angled you want it you can really make it as big as you need that looks pretty good to me i'm just going to move it down a bit so it's in line maybe move it up a little bit so the line is centered and now what we're going to do is just increase the size of it and then obviously as you can see it doesn't look too good now so if you want to command T again and click perspective you can just reduce the size of that and then you can move it up into the design like so so you don't have to have it overpowering the design hopefully you understand how to do that it's quite hard it's quite a hard technique to get it took me a while to get it but once I did learn it it's really helpful and I thought you guys could benefit from it so that's why I've shown you today now we've got our two bits of text the next thing we're going to do is command shift on them and then we're just going to go command j or shift j to duplicate them so now we've got two sets of them so the, the second set we're just going to command t and then we're going to hold shift and move them down the page as you can see we've created quite a nice texture effect here so if we select all of them not texture sorry a type effect select all of them command t and then we're just going to move them up the page like so now they're in the page they look good we've got all the lettering done now if they're too off if you want to just see the tiago more than the silver because you'll see what i mean in a minute you can bring them down a bit so you got the full effect now what we're going to do is create two layers of paint uh textures they're going to be ripped paint textures so if you create a new layer in the middle of the two texts and then create another layer here what you're going to do is get your paint brush tool and then what you're going to need to do is create well you don't need to create you need to select a paintbrush now the paintbrush uh, I'll leave in the description so you guys know where to find it uh, it's simple I'll just leave a download link and you go to it and download it so if you have watched my videos already you might already have these which will be good just going to increase the size of the brush so it covers the page then we're going to select a blue color as you can see what I'm going to do I'm just going to paint over the edges now if you want to change the angle of your brush like so like that you're more than welcome to you just need to get the brush options up as you can see i've covered over the text now if you want more of your um more of your text showing you can have more showing the more blue you put on the more text will be showing because i'm going to clipping mask it to that select your other layer now and now we're just going to do this again create a blue effect now obviously you can see it because the text is above it but as long as you um, cover most of the page you'll be fine so now we've got that done we're just going to clipping mask the text to it so what you need to do is select both well don't need to select them you just need to clipping mask them to it like so now as you can see the text is sat in between the design which looks good now you want this one below so obviously again you can see it um, now what you need to clip and mask these two now if you don't know the clip and mask tool you just right click and then it should say clipping mask or release clipping mask as I've already clipped it to the page now we can turn our red background back on as you can see that looks good it's in between so the only thing left to do is add two textures over the top of the type so what we're gonna do is group these texts together just so we don't get confused and then we're gonna name them text one or text top and then tech bottom like so now what we need to do is get the texture so so I'll be right back right so I've dropped the text in the next thing you need to do is duplicate these so they're these two text 9 and then Adobe stock whatever that number is you'll see them in the design and then what you're gonna need to do is drop these in the text top and then you're gonna drop these two in the text bottom so as you can see it's made the design go really like horrible and not good so what we need to do is clip them to each part so if we go into each and just clip them to the blue background like so that should have made the red go back to normal now what you're going to need to do is select your text layers and add a color overlay and the color overlay is going to be white just so you can see the text again so now you've done that you can see the text and you do the same again for the other group just select the text double click color overlay the next thing you're going to need to do is probably add in a picture of tiago silver and then a red spot in the background to make him stand out more so i'll move on to that now so here's our picture of tiago now I'm going to just move him in between these two layers. Uh, actually, I'm going to move him below that one. So then you can see him better, like so. There we go. Make sure he's center aligned. That looks good. Now, if you want to make him 
a bit lower to the design you can just select this bottom layer and just move it down a little bit if you select the bottom layer command T move it down a bit so you can see a bit more of Tiago a bit more of the red as well now what we're going to do is add some overlaid textures so I'm going to go get those and I'll show you how to do that. So the first texture you're going to need to get is levels 1 and then you're just going to command T and place it in place. It'll already be the right size so it'll fit the design and then you want to change it to color dodge 81% opacity and that will be fine. Once you've done that it should look like this. If it doesn't then go back rewatch it. Obviously pick out the bits that you've gone wrong on. So I'm going to create a new layer under Tiago Silver and I'm going to get a red color and I'm going to get a paintbrush. Now I've got the paintbrush, I'm just going to decrease the size and I'm just going to make a nice red circle behind him just to make him stand out. And then I'm going to change that to screen and leave it at 100% opacity and that will be it for that. We've done everything now, we just need to add probably some texture over the top and then some paint around the edges. So I'm going to just create a new layer, I'm going to do the paint now, I'm going to get, select a white colour and then I'm going to get a paint uh, texture brush so that is going to be down the bottom here so you can pick any of them you want um, I'll leave a link again in the description for you to um, download them all you have to do is install them and if you don't know how to install them there's videos online for you to do that change the angle just so it doesn't look so similar and then you just go to work start painting you can do as much as you want it doesn't really matter too much because you're gonna just once you've painted them on you're gonna layer mask it back out now that I've got that done I'm just gonna decrease the size a little bit and then I'm just gonna change my color to black so I can layer mask it back out as you can see now so once I've done that I'm just gonna start painting away too much white because it'll just ruin the color of the design as I found out earlier but you want to make it look rough and make it look it's done like quick it doesn't look too too constricting so like that quite minimal just on the edges. Uh, you can take it off Tiago if you don't like it on him as well. And then what you can do is just reduce the opacity to about 87% just so you can see it enough but you can also see the background. So once you've done that, that's all done, that's good to go. So the next thing we're going to do is add the textures and then we're going to do a camera raw filter and we'll be done. So the two textures you're going to add is texture 10 and then texture glued paper. So texture 10 will add a gritty effect and you're going to want to change this to subtract on your blending options otherwise it won't look right. And then you're going to add glued paper and then you're going to change this to multiply you can leave the opacity at 100% because that will look fine and that's all you need to do really so obviously overlay them over the top you've got your texture you've got your background that's all good to go next thing we're going to do is probably add a hue and saturation just before we do the um, the camera or filter just because it looks a bit desaturated to me you can increase saturation like so and then we're going to add a brightness and contrast as well just so it looks a bit more rich there you go so it looks more defined now so what you need to do is unlock your background layer and then hold shift group this all together then command J and then command E so that's all grouped together and it should make one layer now so this is what I was on about earlier about cutting the background out so select it all right click and then select your layer you just made and then layer via cut and then you just delete that and now you've got your your image. So the next thing we're going to do is use camera or filter. Now I will speed this bit of the video up just so it will make it quicker for you guys but I will make it slow enough so you can follow along and obviously this bit is for you guys to make the design look how you want so just play around with it and experiment with it and if you don't know how to use the camera or filter I've got a video in the description below which will show you how to do it. So let's get straight into it. That is it guys that's all you need to know for this design i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have leave a like comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below because that'd be great and let me know if you want to see any different posters in the future and i'll make them for you so hopefully you've learned something from this hopefully you've enjoyed it let me know and that's it for this video guys so i'll see you next time